Hi and welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, stick around because today we're fitting bars to the top of that roof. Today we're going to be putting together um, the Omtec roof bars uh, to fit on top of the Volkswagen T5, uh, mine's a 2005 model. These are the bars that run from across, so not along the, the length of the vehicle, but across the vehicle. Um, I've already built one up, um, just so I don't look like a complete idiot on the video. Um, and I've made one piece of the end up. So I'm just going to show you how we actually put the other end together, how it all goes into the, the bar itself, and then a little bit later we'll try and get these on the van. The roof bar itself, um, let's just get one of these unpacked. So the actual bar looks like that. See, see it's it's the bladed one, so a blade shape, so a bit more aerodynamic. Um, if you look on this back side, I'll try and turn that so you can see, this channel here is what's on the top, um, and that has a little rubber grip that we need to put in first. Um, the first one that I tried, obviously the instructions, um, this is the rubber that goes in. And the instructions literally just sort of say push it in to the end and pull it through. The further start to get that was maybe about four inches and then it was really tight. Um, I did try washing up liquid on the channel to try and get that to move a bit easier. Uh, didn't make much difference. I then tried uh, the oops, silicon sprayer which I've got a really old tin but that didn't make a difference either for pulling it through so what I did actually end up doing is Spray the silicon sprayer in the full length of the channel, lying the rubber on top of it, and then just starting at one end, just literally push it in, um, and it seemed to go in a lot easier. So, you can see that channel is actually getting pushed into there now, that rubber. So, I'll get this in and then come back for the second bit. Right, so it's just coming to the end now. Right, and once that's in, perfect. A quick wipe down. So these are the few pieces that we need to, to have in here. So we've got uh, the end part of it. Got a bit of rubber protection that goes in, got the clamp side and a bit of protection for that clamp part as well. So to get these in, you know, if you can see around the edge there's a like a little ridged area and on this rubber bit you've got a bit of a recess so you can literally just push that into there and it's quite easy to get the first part of it across but then as you get to the other end, it just becomes a little bit tighter. It's not tight enough that I would want to try putting the silicon onto it. It's just a little bit fiddly just because of where it is. Um, it's like trying to get your, your bike tire on when you're a kid. <laughs> so... I don't know if you can see that, that sits in there quite nice on there. Then we have this is the, the clamp that sort of goes, this fits in there like that. This rubber foot sits in that part. Now, this one doesn't actually clamp in, it doesn't go ridge on it, it just sort of sits there a little bit. Um, then we have 
one of these, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, as a, oh, a nut, whatever. But it's actually, I don't know if you can see, it's like a hexagonal shape. That locks into the hexagonal bit in the back of there. So I just drop that into there. And then in the top, we have this bolt that goes through into that hole. So I push that through the holes a little bit tight. What I've actually done on these is literally just start the thread just so it holds everything together. Um, so it just catches in there. And that's that end done as well. So now putting them onto the end of the onto the end of the whatever they're called bars, they're literally obviously that's got the same profile as the bar. So just make sure you've got the right one for the right end, and then that literally just pushes on there. And then we've got same on the other end. That just pushes on. Uh, that's exactly the same as what I've done with the other bar. So then obviously the next step is uh, get out of the van, get on some steps and then literally it's just a case of pushing this end up against one of the, the rails that run front to back on the vehicle and then same with the other end and then just get them nipped up with the allen key that was provided. Uh, once we get them nipped up, there is some little plastic caps that go over where the screw is as well, just to finish it off and keep it closed off to the elements. So, I'll we'll catch you in a little while once I get out to the van and I get the roof um, cleaned up a little bit. Um, this is obviously the crud I want to just try and clean out a little bit in this channel. Um, the roof. It's never actually been washed since I since I've gotten the van. Um, as you can see, it's a bit of a mess. This is brilliant. If you've never tried this in your house, and it smells lovely, it smells of rhubarb. It's taken that off, no problem at all. If you can see in there, that's a lot, lot cleaner. We're literally just going to carry on doing that around the, the van. And I got this van, it had actually been standing, I think, in somebody's garden for quite a while. And it had a load of moss in all the window. Uh, around the windows in the rubber sails and everything so it must have been stood there for quite a while um, and I just used this uh, method anti-back call purpose cleaner just whizzed around with that and done a good, great job and that's why I'm using it again I'm starting to struggle now I'm getting cramped in my hands um, it's not hard work but it's uh, just the the MS uh, causes me muscles to seize. <sighs> I think I'll have to. I think I'll have to leave the other side till a little bit later. Uh, so I'll just nip in and have a bit rest, and then I'll catch up with you on the other side. I think. <laughs> So this is, we've already fitted one of the bars. Now, I fit the other side. Managing to get that in. So it is just a case of pushing one end on, and then the other one goes on an angle and then just slide it along the, the rail. You getting that in there? So you've got the, you've got the, So I'll just to uh, show you how these fit on this clump on the bottom just nips up with that screw in the top and um, we've already got one in place you can see it literally there's maybe a quarter of an inch underneath it
Obviously tightness wise, don't want it too tight on, strip the thread, but literally just enough that it's nipped up. I'm gonna say thumb tight, done on that side, son. So all in all that's basically then fitted, ready for some kind of roof box when we manage to get all the one. So that's some roof bars fitted now. Um, someone who's pretty fit and healthy, uh, probably have the whole job done building up the bars and fitting them in about 30 minutes or so. It's took me a little bit longer because I've had to clean the top of the van a little bit and struggling with uh, the mobility but yeah so I'll put some links down uh, below in the description where you can actually buy these. Um, catch you in the next one.